Sure. So that's where the coastal range dips from both the north and the south. And it drops down to a low enough elevation that a lot of the rain and a lot of the wind and the cold weather can come in from the coast immediately at this opening. And so what it's about, about seven, I think roughly about seven or eight miles south of the town of Amity, basically uh, heading towards Ricreal is where the opening is. And in that whole area, you have this really beautiful valley. There's a lot of people that are there that are farming berries and stuff very, very successfully. You tend to be at a lot of fr uh, frost prone risk there. There's a lot of uh, frost damage that can occur in that, in that spot because it's really, because it's very cold. But the circulation of that air coming in the valley and moving north basically is what cools down a lot of the Willamette Valley and keeps things more moderate here for our ability to be able to have uh, success with Pinot Noir, with Chardonnay, with Pinot Gris, the things that we've proven we've done really well with. It helps with the diurnal shift so we can still have these warm days but then have a lot of wind and really, and really large temperature swings at night to cool things down. So depending on your proximity to it, where your vineyard is, you can be more or less influenced by that corridor. And I think in certain pockets, you don't, uh, you don't really see much of it if you're isolated. I know Yamhill Carlton in particular is actually well known for being one of the most protected ABAs from the Van Duzer, but not just from the Van Duzer, but the coastal range of the, that extends along the Willamette Valley also reaches its peak at that point, which is west, just essentially dead west of Ribbon Ridge. So you get a little bit of, they say, a little bit of a more of a rain shadow, and that's part of the reason why my understanding is that that area tends to be a little bit drier. And even in some cases, Dundee too, they say there's, there, there tends to be a little bit less annual rainfall there. So the Van Duzer is, is a huge, huge moderating effect and it controls the weather here largely. And in cases where you're really close to it, it creates a, a lot of high wind and it's, it's really effective. It helps for us, I think for a lot of Willamette Valley farmers to farm more sustainably and organically and or biodynamic because of a lot of the air circulation and stuff that's created by the currents, the wind currents. And uh, it helps us kind of, you know, protect the vines naturally from uh, from pressure from from disease.